Hi friends, welcome back to the art room with Mrs. Nolte. Today we're gonna to be learning about glazing our pottery. The last time we met, we were creating um, pottery. We've made some small um, ceramic objects and they have been fired in a kiln and now they're ready for glaze. So what is glaze? Well, glaze is basically paint that has powdered glass mixed into it or silica. The powdered glass, when it's heated at a very high temperature, will melt and flow and it will harden to a very smooth, shiny, glassy coating. This is mixed in with some paint so that you get a um, color in that fused glass. There's a lot of different types of glaze. We are, the type of glaze that we are using is called stroke and coat. It is, um, glass mixed with a very heavy paint color so we get a nice opaque solid image. We are going to be using what's bisqueware because the clay that we started a, a few weeks ago has been fired in our kiln and it has hardened up and it's ready for our glaze. You want to glaze your pottery pieces because they will seal them. If we don't glaze them they're very porous and water and uh, liquids will soak into them. So this will give a nice coating on it and make it so that it's uh, water resistant. Um, I have a couple little objects here and we're gonna um, start by painting this little turtle. Um, I've already done one coat of glaze on it because I wanted to show you how really nice and shiny it is after it's been glazed. My cupcake is still in a bisque form so this has not had any glaze on it yet. So we're gonna start with three different colors of glaze. I've put these into separate containers so that I'm not cross contaminating the colors. This type of glaze does not mix well. So we don't want to try to make our own color the pigments and the powdered glass don't um, combine well, so you wanna keep whatever color is in that container, you wanna keep it nice and clean. You should have one brush for each color that you're gonna use or wash the brush really well between colors. Um, I'm gonna start with my little turtle here, and on the back I've already put one coat of glaze on that's been fired, just as a sample to show you. Um, I put three heavy coats of glaze on it so that I got a darker color. If you only put one really thin um, coat on, you're still gonna see a lot of the clay come through. So that's important to coat it three times. So you see this little tail, it only has one coat. The back, I put three coats and that gave it that really dark green, shiny finish. So I'm going to use a small brush with a little bit of my glaze. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and get the extra off. I don't want it too goopy. And then I'm going to carefully paint the unpainted parts of this glaze. I'm using a teal color here. Now the colors are much, much lighter when they're wet. After they've been, <coughs> excuse me, after they've been fired, they get much darker. So sometimes it's hard to tell exactly how dark it's going to get unless you have a chart but it will be a lot darker the glaze is going to soak in the first coat is going to soak into the clay and it's going to dry very very fast so as it's soaking in i'm going to count to about 10 and make sure it really absorbs into the clay and then i'm going to put a second coat over the whole thing same color that I was using and I'm going to cover over everything that I just painted once that's on again I'm going to wait about 10 seconds so that it absorbs into the clay and then I'll add my third coat making sure that I cover everything pretty smooth there we go and um, there we go three good solid coats on it, and then just put it aside to dry. Now when it dries, it's gonna dry very flat. Um, it's not gonna have any shine in it at all, and that's fine because once I put it back in the kiln, 
that powdered glass is going to um, melt and it's going to seal it up and when you get it back it's going to be super super shiny once you have three solid coats on your turtle um, you can finish up it'll dry and then we'll put it back in the kiln for its final firing